Catskill. Catskills. New yeah. York. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail. Good morning, viewers. Good, good. Nichols says good morning, viewers. Also good morning, viewers. Frizzle says good morning, viewers. We are picking up from when we left off, and we get to start today with a pair of train tracks. We wait for the truck. We're all going up Beacon Hill right now, and after that is Killington. This is the terrain we're going up right now. So this is actually Clarendon Gorge, not Beacon Hill yet. We're going way up there. Well, yeah, the Clarendon Gorge continues. Not quite as steep as Lehigh Gap, but it's a steep one. There's a blaze way up there. Well, maybe we're finally leveling out a little bit. Nothing like a really steep climb to kill your momentum right out of the gate. <laughs> and right out of the gate, Frizzle and Nichols are gone. <laughs> Even before I can get my intro in. It looks like we're flattening out a little bit now. There's a little bit more to do first. Look who I found at the top. <laughs> what a climb to start off the day. Breakfast. Hills for breakfast. Nichols dropped his pole down there. Nichols, why would you drop your pole down the rock? Were you there when we did the triple crown? No, I was ahead of you guys when you were doing triple crown. Because that day, Lyric dropped his seat pad off the edge. Oh, I remember like hearing about that. <laughs> I was off McAfee Knob. Yeah, I like climbed down. Good morning! Welcome to the Appalachian Trail. We are recovering from our long climb. And we are on the trail on day 104. And we stayed at the Yellow Deli last night. What'd you guys think of the Yellow Deli? We made it out alive. Yeah, <laughs> we made honestly, it out they alive. didn't mention anything about, like, I don't know, communities or anything. But it was actually yeah. a really nice day. I liked the Yellow Deli. We had a good experience. We got breakfast this morning. We got breakfast this morning. They had nice showers, nice laundry, nice common area, really good sleep. Yeah. I really enjoyed our stay there. And yeah, I did not feel pressured in any way. They were very nice people to talk to. Mm -hmm. My second time there. His yes. second time there. <laughs> so. Both times, you're very nice. Yeah, very good. They were really nice. Yeah. And they had conditioner awesome. for the long haired people. They did. <laughs> that was a big plus, yeah. One of the best hostels, if not the best hostel, north of Harper's Ferry, I'd say. So we are hiking from Springer Mountain, Georgia, to Katahdin, Maine. We are here in Vermont today. And we are hiking up Killington soon. We did Clarendon Gorge. Then we have Beacon. Beacon Hill. Yeah. It's a hill. So it shouldn't be too steep. <laughs> and then we have Killington, which is our first 4,000 footer since the priest in Virginia. Woo! Nice. <laughs> so yes. we'll enjoy today. The priest, not three ridges. Yeah, I said three ridges. I corrected Nichols when he said the last time we were at 4,000 feet was, was the priest. And I said, I think it was three ridges right after the priest. But three ridges was only 3,900 feet and change. So not quite there. It was the priest. He was right. Professor, Nichols was, Nich Professor Nichols was right about that. He was wrong about the peaks in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let's keep on hiking northbound.
does feel great to have clean laundry, clean after a shower, and also great Wi-Fi at Yellow Deli. So we were able to upload six days of videos. So now I have no backup on my phone and all their schedules. So that, that takes away a lot of stress for the next few days. I'm not having to worry about that. If you hadn't been following along the past few days to a week, I've been relying on data for uploads and I have to keep constantly checking it and making sure it's working when I do have service. So it was a big relief to get good Wi-Fi finally, because there has not been many hostels open in the Northeast. So, and they did make a breakfast for us this morning too. It was small, it was toast and eggs, but it was really nice. There were a lot of people who have mixed feelings about that, including uh, some who know me personally, who were telling me that I shouldn't stay there. And I appreciate the warnings. I think that as long as you do not go to the farm or go anywhere other than the hostel with them, don't take them up on other invitations, you should be absolutely fine. Just stay at the hostel, don't go anywhere else, and you won't be roped into any sort of cult thing or anything. We didn't get any of that sense in our stay there. Clarendon Shelters that way. Long Trail Appalachian Trail. Cooper Lodge 9.9. .9. That is the top of Killington. Basically the top of Killington. We started from an elevation of 860 feet from Clarendon Gorge and we're going up to an elevation of 4200 today at Killington Peak. Again, first 4,000 footer since the priests in Virginia. I'm beginning to think that these hills, these foothills of Killington are steeper than any part in Vermont that we've covered so far. Getting more rugged. These climbs are just going straight up. <laughs> wow. We are about to reach the top of Beacon Hill here. It's point one ahead. And the nice thing is that we're 1,700 feet above. So in the first mile, we have gained 900 feet of elevation. All right, Beacon Hill. There's the beacon. <laughs> now we get a little break going downhill for a bit. Chance to catch my breath. I love it out here. All these nature sounds, these mountains, the feeling of conquering these mountains, it's a beautiful thing. There's a farm way up here on Beacon Hill. There is a trail here somewhere. <laughs> This is a nice section here. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns with from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Hermit Spring reminds me of camp. We have a Hermit Spring at my Boy Scout camp. That's just giving me camp vibes right there. <laughs> there was a hermit who lived in the same property as my Boy Scout camp before the Boy Scout camp was there. And all that was left there was a rundown shack and an outhouse and a grave. So we call the spring near that shack the Hermit Spring. This section of trail here has been pretty nice, fairly flat. We enjoy every section of trail, but it's nice when the trail gives you a break every now and then from some serious climbs. I wasn't expecting a field today, but thank you to whoever keeps the grass down.
I just think ferns make everything look so beautiful. Wow. Good morning, Blaze. Appalachian Trail. Oh, you steal a piece of my heart. I am so blessed to be on this journey, y'all. So blessed. And I recognize that. Surrounded by pines, God's creation. It's beautiful out here. Here's a morning reflection for us. I think sometimes we forget about God's majesty because we don't get out in the middle of it. We're always surrounded by our concrete jungle and we don't get out in the creation enough. And after experiencing this for months on end, how can I not thank him for all of this? all of this beauty and be reminded that God has always been present all along because I see fires but then I see growth again and it just never stops it never stops blooming my favorite season is spring because I always see everything bloom but I've never had a spring like this where I've seen everything come alive from the winter I absolutely love that so if you are having trouble feeling close to God and you want to feel closer to God. I know not all of you are God followers and that's fine, but it's just my reflection. Just get out in the wilderness and just look around and don't rush just to cover miles. Remember to look around and appreciate all that's around us. All right, we passed Cold River Road. Now you only have 2,900 feet of elevation to get to the top of Killington. How hard can that be? We also have two signs to watch out for on the way up. The 500 miles left sign and the 1,700 mile sign. So let's do this. We are fording a brook. You see those stairs over there? That's where we came down. Well, this is the book we are fording. It's pretty easy right now. There's a lot of dry rock to cross over and the trail is somewhere over there. I think it's right there. Look at all of that. I don't know what it's called, but I've never seen so much of it in one place. It's a pretty nice walk through a fir forest on the way to the Governor Clement shelter. We're getting near that shelter, but it is getting warm. We're doing a slow grade of elevation, which is not bad at all. It is currently 80 degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning. Cut out in 500 miles. Hey y'all, that's how many miles left until our mission is completed. At least this mission, Mount Katahdin. We're coming. Looks like Bugs, Bushman, and Gazelle may have hooked up, which is cool, and Casper the day after that, so not too bad. PBJ, May 31st. The three of us, today. I remember when we crossed over 500 miles in the Grayson Highlands, how big of a deal that felt right near Thomas Knob Shelter, and now there are 500 miles remaining to Katahdin. I would walk 500 more Just to be the one to show up at Maine's highest point <laughs> Up we go This is the trail up here And there's the river Down below It's so beautiful up here if this trail right here is not a fine example of a rosin, show me what is. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of erosion. Hey. What did we find, Professor Nichols? I uh, rocks. <laughs> yeah, what would With K be? We think it's New all York, the... NC, States. G for Georgia, M A Mass, T, Tennessee. What else do we have? P for Pennsylvania. This is a C. West WV, West Virginia. West Virginia, Virginia, New Jersey, Garden State. Vermont. 
Come on. I'm okay with that, Dan. But what is C? Okay, maybe it is Katana, but what is C? Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. CT, Connecticut. Where is CT? It's just C. Yeah, some of them are just one letter, like uh, D, T, C. There's C. I don't know what W. It's kind of cool. On the day we passed 500 left, you see all the states in a pile of rocks. Represent all the rocks we went over. Yeah. And all the rocks we will go over. Yeah, where's New Hampshire? NH? Oh, NH has to be somewhere. Our theory is that K stands for Katahdin. Somebody left a chair here. Oh, that was mine. Oh, it's yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another chair. This is mine. I have a folding one. That's an interesting shelter. Okay. What's the name of this shelter again? Grover Clement. Grover Clement Shelter. Governor Clement Shelter, the last shelter before 1700 and Killington Peak. I caught up to these guys because, and girl. <laughs> because they uh, went for a swim or a foot soak. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. This is the shelter, the shelter, the trail just after leaving the shelter. Pretty nice. I like a nice easy grade. I know the last little bit's difficult, but so far we're just gonna enjoy a walk in the woods. Now that's not really the way to do it, but it does say 1,700. We have walked 1,700 miles, you all, on the Appalachian Trail, halfway up Killington Mountain. Oh, and don't carve into, the, don't carve into trees. It's not healthy for the tree. Nichols! What up? 1,700! Congratulations. Is this where the marker is? No, it was like 0.3 down. I didn't see the Congratulations. Marker. Was there a marker? Yeah. Hey y'all, we get to go up this. <laughs> Let's watch Nichols on trail navigate this steep slope. <laughs> That's the trail. Well, that is the Shrewsbury Peak Trail right there. We are on the LT80, Chattapico, Killington 1.4, and Sherborne Pass. Onward up the mountain, we have another 800 feet of elevation to go. Beautiful fir forest again. I love when we get above 3,000 feet, there's all these furs everywhere, and it smells lovely. I'm seeing more moose droppings up here. I'm starting to get a few views. Look at that. You see that up there? I'm pretty sure that's where we're headed. The top of Killington Peak. We get a nice peaceful walk through the fir forest before the final ascent. 
you see you can see where it's been muddy and it's dried up but we're expecting more rains this beautiful 4,000 footer is a great preparation or beginning preparation for the whites you know at the last climb that's going to be something else I'm looking forward to it but I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this layer and above this layer above tree line and I'm looking forward to it I found the Cooper cabin and there's a privy and then there's a trail that goes up the peak there's a few tent platforms here there's a few bugs here we are Killington Spur Trail, Killington Peak Point Two. Here is the trail. I can't even talk. There's so many black flies buzzing around me. I even put on bug spray. This is steep. Holy cow! Well, technically, that's a blue blaze. The trail. Continues there. There is the amazing view from Killington. And that's the trail I just came up. And have to go back down in a little bit. I see the top. Da -da -da -da. So that is looking south where we just came from. And then there's endless mountains as far as we can see. There's Rutland down there. And we are now looking west to the Green Mountains of Vermont. And there's some more pointy peaks there. I don't know what mountain that is, but there's a road going over there. And then north would be that way. East. And New Hampshire, it's beyond the pines there. As we descend from this 4,000 foot peak, Killington Peak, this is our view. Loving it, looking west. This is the shelter. I have no return. I don't think it'll be that cold and lonely tonight. Long trail north. Hey Ramdino, it is Dick the Eagle here. We are having a great time here on Killington Mountain here in Vermont. We had beautiful views today. One thing I want to know is that moose are out. We have seen plenty of droppings around the area and black flies are also out. But nothing is taken away from our enjoyment of these beautiful furs. We're enjoying every moment of it. The terrain is pretty good. It's been pretty dry for Vermont. There's been some patches of dried mud, which we've been able to just walk right across. But there are rains coming tomorrow, so we'll see if that changes. But we're enjoying it. We're about 50 miles from New Hampshire. We should be there by Saturday. So let's keep hiking, embrace the journey, and happy trails the Sherburn Pass Trail. It does go to the AT further up than 3.5 miles, but Pico Camp is a half mile. But we're going north, which is the other direction. So, US 4 is only 3.8 miles. That's the Pass Trail. Do you see those bugs flying? There are so many bugs. All right, AT North and LT North. I believe the main junction is at mile 1707. So, 1707 or 1709, we might come across that today. It's been a really beautiful walk in the furs. I've been walking by myself, Frizzle and Nichols are ahead, but I've just enjoyed looking up at the furs, just looking around me and enjoying the peaceful walk in the woods that I get to enjoy, that I'm privileged to enjoy each and every day. Well, they recently took care of this. There's a lot of sawdust. Thank you, trail maintainers. Smells like fresh wood too. We did get a little bit of a late start this morning from 
yellow deli. They served breakfast starting at seven. And then Nichols and I were like, where is Fressel? And Fressel was sleeping in another room because they separate the men and the girls, or the men and the women. So we texted her, said breakfast is ready. Didn't hear anything until like 7.45 saying, oh, I just woke up. <laughs> so that's all well and good. It's story. She usually wakes up by seven or so or earlier, um, as do myself and Nichols. But sometimes the body just needs sleep. But anyway, she was our ride with her mom, um, Buckeye. So we got on trail about 8.30 this morning and started hiking those two initial steep peaks. And it's been a good day, beautiful day. Every now and then, you should look back and see where you came from. That is Pico, not Pico, um, the mountain we just climbed, Mount Killington, across the way over there. Now we're on the other side of the ridge. Up there somewhere is Pico Peak. We are not going across Pico Peak. That's a blue blaze trail from Pico Camp which is basically 0.8 off the Appalachian Trail. But it's up there. We did, we did Killington, so we don't need to do Pico Peak also. This has been a very nice gradual walk down from Killington Peak over to the next ridge. And then technically we're on the side of Pico Peak right now without summiting it. But it's been a very nice gradual walk downhill back to where we need to be. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the walk in the woods. Not really caring how far I have to go, except for the fact that I don't want to keep Frizzle and Nichols waiting where they're at. Because there's the plan tonight to go to the Frizzle Hostel. Frizzle's mom has a place and is welcoming the three of us to stay there. And with the rain forecasted tomorrow and the storms, we're going to take advantage of that. We're not planning to take a zero, but we might take a lighter day using that place as well tomorrow. So we shall see what the future brings, but I don't want to keep them waiting too long. So I'm just going to enjoy my walking and meandering without really taking a break. Just keep moving. We have a little view here, a break in the trees. Wow, I imagine if that was our view walking along this ridge the whole time. This Route 4 is 1.9, but we're starting to have a split Tucker Johnson via Long Trail or Stony Brook via AT. You can tell there's a split coming up. Let's keep hiking north. Let me tell you something that's been super nice about today. You know all that resupply that I got yesterday? I didn't need to put it in my pack today because Frizzle's mom left it in her car. So I took some for my hike today, but I did not need to carry all the food I bought yesterday. I can carry it later, but I was able to eat some of it today without needing all of it. Having less weight in your back helps a lot. We found a stream. I just feel so content right now. I'm in my element. I'm walking with a light pack, what I've dreamed of for a while. I'm walking on the Appalachian Trail, what I've also dreamed of for a while. And I can't believe, it's hard to believe how far I've come, that I'm gonna reach the main junction. This just having the word main in it is mind boggling. Meaning that I'm getting that much closer to the destination, to the mountain on the northern terminus. I feel like I just started on the, on the southern terminus not too long ago on Springer Mountain. And here we are counting down the miles to Katad and ever since I saw that 700 mile sign and now 500 miles and now less than 500 miles. Just wow. I'm in my element, I'm so content. I'm so at peace right now. And I can't even explain it. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be here. Lovely ferns. 
the decision has been made by those in front of me that we will not do main junction today save it for tomorrow we'll get off at route four in a half mile it's not even six o'clock yet so yeah if i was by myself i'd keep on hiking but the dynamic of being with a group you plan things as a group and i've been having fun with them and it's been huge having a light pack today i really thank buckeye for that and i'm doing what the group's doing because we're a group and we are committed to each other at this point <laughs> and i'm so happy for that i'm so happy that we have a group together a group of friends another reason to just be content with life right now and with what i'm doing because i've met people who want to help me want to be there for me be there with me experience these things together that means the world to me i can hear route four we are closing in i think a quarter, a quarter mile or something we get to rock hop these big boulders hop 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 what are we doing if we're not having fun on the appalachian trail y'all you all. I'm not in the south anymore. <laughs> Main Junction. One mile that way. Tomorrow, folks. We have people waiting for us in Trailhead Parking. So there's this place called the Long Trail Pub. And we have dinner at Chef's Pizza at Clint Parm. There's Frissel. I'm so excited to eat some food. Yes, we have grape soda as well, of course. It'll be a test at the end, what's my favorite grape soda? Or what's my favorite soda? And Nichols is having his food. And Buckeye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Buckeye, for taking us out here. Frizzle, when's the last time you drove? February. <laughs> February. I guess we'll trust you. I think we'll be okay. Frizzle got us here yeah. safely. Yeah, I 95% remember how to drive. <laughs> yes, you did well. Thank you. And Nichols is here. Yep. We are staying at the Frizzle Hostel today. Pop-up hostel. Pop-up hostel. So that should be nice. We had a good day today over Killington. Great views yeah. and 1,700 miles and 500 miles left. That's crazy. Yeah. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. And we have more to come. You're the only one that saw the 1,700 mile marker today. Oh, Frizzle yeah. didn't notice it? It was very obscure. Very uh, obscure. Yeah, I so, wasn't paying the most attention. We have the main junction tomorrow and more adventure to come. So if you would like to follow along for more AT content, please be sure you are subscribed. And if you'd like to follow along for some live updates, you can follow along on Instagram as well. Same handle as my YouTube, at Stick the Eagle. Anything to add? You still have the dragonfly from Spineless Cougar. It did not keep the black flies away today. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. There's a lot of black flies. Spineless Cougar, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will still embrace the journey and happy, happy trails. trails.